What's going on everybody, welcome back to the channel and in today's video I'll be talking about the details and the things that you guys probably miss in the Deadpool 3 trailer. But before we get into this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, and turn on those post notifications so you can notify when I post a new video. Now without further ado, let's get into it. Now I'm not going to say these details and easter eggs in order of the trailer and, and how it went. I'm just going to be saying them randomly. The first thing I want to talk about is how many variants are going to be in this film. Because from previous leaks of this of this movie before the trailer even came out, we already knew there's, there's going to be ton and tons of variants of Deadpool and Wolverine. Given off of this image right here, we see a Deadpool variant where he has long hair and like a armored type suit and from the look of it this deadpool or wade wilson doesn't get like this cancer where his face looks all messed up it's just ryan reynolds with long hair and an armored suit who still becomes daredevil my bad who, who still becomes deadpool and with that being said we also get a glimpse of a wolverine variant in this trailer and that variant is called patch you see in this scene we can see a person with wolverine hair white suit on and if you read the comics you know exactly who wears that exact white suit and that's patch aka wolverine and i'll tell you guys who patch is in another video but for now let's just talk about who this might be and you might be thinking wait we're talking about who this might be we all know it's wolverine i know that but what if it's not Hugh Jackman playing it. I've been hearing a whole bunch of theories of people saying that this is not Hugh Jackman because of the build. People are saying that this is a shorter actor and somebody who has been fan casted multiple times to play Wolverine other than Hugh Jackman. Those people being Daniel Radcliffe, AKA Harry Potter, which is actually kind of crazy. The first time I heard of it, I was like, how the heck could this guy play any type of Wolverine, look at him. But then I saw a clip of him where he was like extremely ripped and built. And I was like, you know what? He could probably pull that off. So people are speculating that this might be Daniel Radcliffe or that one guy from the Kings, the, the Kingsman movie. The only reason why I'm saying that one guy from the Kingsman movie is because I have no idea what his name is, I forgot. But here's his name and here's his image. And I saw him and I'm like, this guy is built, he's ripped, he's fit. And he can probably pull off that kind of like Wolverine feel and personality. So it might be either this guy or this guy playing this Wolverine variant patch. Another thing that you might have missed in this trailer is that we get the first glimpse of the main villain in this film. Not the only villain, but the main villain in this film. And her name is Cassandra Xavier, I think. Maybe her, her last name is different. But basically, a little brief origin Cassandra is professor x's twin sister and in the womb professor x sent that his sister was evil so he tried to kill her in the womb but he but he failed and she was born and she basically just took on somebody's somebody's body and this is her this is what she looks like she's old kind of skinny big head and uh from the look of it these two images from the comics and then from this per persona or like the silhouette, this looks like it could definitely be Cassandra Xavier or Cassandra whatever, I forgot her last name. Another thing in this trailer is that we see somebody wearing Deadpool gloves, but they're shooting SMGs, like they're shooting machine guns, like, like those things from Fortnite. It's the guy from Fortnite! And we know that Deadpool does not use those guns. He uses two blade swords and pistols he does not use smgs or anti like like automatic machine gun you know so this has been speculating to be lady deadpool this image right here it shows the gloves and we can obviously tell these are not deadpool's gloves this is another variant of deadpool and this might be lady deadpool and i think it actually is lady deadpool because if you know the comics you know lady deadpool uses smgs as her main weapons or as her main gun weapons and for a quick glimpse we also see an older version of pyro who was in x-men the last stand and some other x-men movie that i forgot the name of but yeah this is what he looks like in the movie and this is what he looks like younger in these in the other x-men movies now my guess is it's probably the same guy from that x-men universe or a different variant of him older and also during the end of the trailer we can see on the side of the le on the left hand side of deadpool 
we see a Secret Wars comic, specifically Secret Wars issue 5, and the newer version. Not the older version, but the newer version, and it was issue 5. And on this cover, we see Doctor Doom and the Beyonder. Every time I see somebody bring up this hidden detail, they always talk about, oh my gosh, it's Doctor Doom, it's Doctor Doom. But nobody is talking about the Beyonder, which is actually insane to me because the Beyonder had a big role to play in Secret Wars, which is, which is why he's on this comic book cover because he had a big part to play it. And not only that, but the Beyonder is like one of Marvel's most powerful characters ever. And the fact that people are just brushing him off to the side and just giving all the attention to Doctor Doom is crazy to me. And I'm not saying that Doctor Doom's not important, but I'm also saying that the Beyonder is just as important as him. So this could mean that during the Avengers Secret Wars movie, we're definitely going to get the Beyonder and Doctor Doom. But to be honest with you, I'm more excited to see the Beyonder than I am Doctor Doom because I've been seeing Doctor Doom from the previous live action Fantastic Four films. Not fan four stick, but the good ones with Chris Evans. I've seen one live action portrayal, well two, but one decent live action portrayal of Doctor Doom. And I'm more excited to see the Beyonder who has never been represented in any type of live action film or show. So I'm more excited to see him than I am Doctor Doom. Anyway, moving on to the next detail. During the snow moments in the trailer, we can speculate that these are probably just different moments in the MCU timeline. Everybody has been speculating that this is the moment at the beginning of Avengers Age of Ultron where the Avengers were taking down some Hydra agents to get the Tesseract. Because judging off of these two photos, I mean, it kind of looks pretty similar. But then I noticed something that was behind Deadpool when he was hiding behind this log. There is a truck flipped over onto the side. And if you watch the Logan movie, you can see that exact same truck right there in the woods. So I don't think that this is from the Avengers Age of Ultron. I think this is from the Logan timeline. But it's just not dry. Like, it was just snowing, and that's... What it is, it's snowing at the woods, and this is where Deadpool's at. And we know that this is definitely a possibility because Deadpool gets taken by the TVA in this film, and he most likely escapes, like killing most of the TVA agents, just trying to escape the TVA and get to the MCU, probably. And we know this because he is being hunted by the TVA throughout this entire trailer. Most likely, I mean, he'll be hunted by the TVA throughout the entire movie. Another detail that is shown during the snow moments in the trailer is that we see Deadpool do his iconic Yay! move that he does in the first Deadpool movie. And then after he says that, all the other people who are trying to kill him freeze. And he says, I only have 12 bullets, so you're going to have to share. Let's count them down. And I think that that's exactly what's going to happen in this scene. He's going to recreate that exact same scene. But instead of being thugs, he's going to do it with TVA agents. I'm pretty sure we also get a glimpse of him doing that in this scene where he's just throwing knives at these guys. And he's just killing them all at once. And then at the very beginning of the trailer, we see everybody from both Deadpool movies. Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2 who died. Like everybody you see here, not everybody, but most of the people that you see here died in the previous X-Men movies. For example... Like, all these X-Force characters, they died the moment that they were about to go into action, like, on their first mission. They all died. All of them. So how are they here? Well, I can actually tell you that. Because at the end and the post credit scene of Deadpool 2, Deadpool uses Cable's time-traveling watch to bring everybody back. To save everybody from dying. And this is where he's at. He saved everybody from dying, and now they're celebrating Deadpool's birthday. But another detail that I noticed that's kind of sad is at the beginning of this trailer, we see a glimpse of Wade Wilson and his head is down and he looks like he's pretty sad. And we see Vanessa on the other side of the screen with like a sad type of face. And this got me thinking, why would they be sad? What's happening? And then I remembered in the first Deadpool movie, Vanessa and Wade Wilson were planning to have a baby and they were going to until she got killed along with the baby. So when he saved her, that means he saved the baby, or did he? 
And this is when my theory comes in. I think that they probably had a miscarriage with the baby and it didn't make it. And this is why they are both sitting here sad, miserable. Because even after Wade Wilson saved his Vanessa, his love, he couldn't save his child. And that is heartbreaking. It's enough to make a grown man cry. Anyways, when we see Wade Wilson get captured by the TVA and brought to the TVA, we see him get transferred to this room, which looks oddly familiar to the room that Loki was transferred to in the first season when he was being interrogated by Mobius. But since Loki changed everything, maybe that means the TVA has changed and this room had its new revamping. And this is what it looks like now. Then in the next scene, I believe, we see Wade Wilson get transported to this room with all these screens. And on the screen, it pops up moments and different moments in the MCU timeline. And a little funny moment and a little funny detail that I noticed in this trailer is that we see Wade Wilson salute to Captain America when he appears on the screen. And then as we see Deadpool walking through this TVA, we can see in the background a wallpaper. And I think this is a tribute to Loki because this looks like Loki holding in all the timelines. Like, look at it. You have the symbol in the middle, and you have all these lines co co um, connecting to that single middle part. That seems like Loki. Loki's the middle, and he's and he holds and powers all the timelines so everybody can live, and he just sits there. So this is also might be a tribute to Loki. And then we see Matthew McFadden's character, and he, this is the guy who just shows Deadpool all around the TVA. Yeah, Matthew McFadden plays that character, and that character's name is Paradox, which is somebody I might do another video on. We also see, during the middle of the trailer, we see a TVA agent get eaten by some type of dark purple smoke, and since they're going through the TVA, maybe Deadpool somehow entered like, the, the prune universe where this TVA agent was probably eaten by Eliathith. Eliath, not Eliathith, Eliath who we saw introduced in the Loki series during season one, and also, I believe, season two. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys. Let me know if you guys saw anything else in this trailer down in the comments below. And let me know if you guys saw the hidden image in this video. Comment down below if you saw it. And if you did see it, tell me what it was. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you on my next one. Peace!